Hey everybody, welcome back to Chernobylite. Uh, we've just entered this wormhole to I don't know where. When the guy asked us where these wormholes lead, we said it leads where it needs to. That's all you need to know for now. So Olivier, where the hell did you go, Olivier? That's got to be him there. I'm definitely intrigued that that first section was such a cool setup. And then now, I don't know if this is a if this is like kind of inside the wormhole and there's an exit here that we're going to find that takes us somewhere else or What the fuck was that? <laughs> Listen, I Jesus, I'm so sorry, Olivier. Anton was uh, he was a good man. Who was that fucker? Hell if I know. Somehow, he used the negative energy of the Chernobylite to teleport. Now, to confirm this theory... Stop. That doesn't matter right now. Can he get to us here? And where is here exactly? We're inside a wormhole connecting two singularities. It's quite short and not very stable, so we need to move. Do you understand? And no, he can't chase us in here. I, I mean, it's possible in theory, but highly unlikely. I don't want to know. Just get us out of here. This way. You'll come out near Mikhail's place, hopefully. Let's meet there, then. My arm... It feels like the muscle's been twisted from the inside. I'm going to execute that black-masked motherfucker, Anton. I promise you. Yeah, I mean, that's not a bad idea. Oh, look, he's got his own deal there. <laughs> this is quite the achievement. He was asking the good questions, though. This place is definitely not what it used to be. It's like a snake, shedding his skin over and over again. You have to learn it all over again. Feel it. Tame it. Day one, Chernobyl morning? Okay. Well, let's pop this. Nothing. Ah, the singularity. Tearing at the fabric of reality. The foundations of this reality are really quite fragile. You're out of time, go! Condition and psyche. Oh, look at the radiation now. What? Yeah, the, okay, so it's slowly killing us. That's great. There we go. Whoa, okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I... Yeah, this could get... Oh, man. This is the type of thing that I get a little bit too into. Okay, so my flashlight is draining, but... Does it recharge? It must. Or maybe we have to... Fill it with something. What? times have we walk through these gates more than I can count let's go in together my love I need to find a way to reduce my rad levels first oh cool it's detecting radiation uh okay look for a little bottle the label will say potassium iodide DTPA and Prussian blue it helps with radiation poisoning and highlights items you can pick up. Find the medicine near the bio gate. Now there's other things on that on this scanner. I don't know how to switch to those yet. 
You spent too much time in contaminated areas. Use an anti-radiation medicine from your inventory to decrease your radiation levels. You got it. Check stats for more info. Let's try now. Enviro Analyzer will by default highlight all resources and items in the area, but can also be used to filter and search for them by various categories. <laughs> R and T, select herbs. They will be useful for creating a medicine. Search and collect them. Okay, food rations, mechanical parts, herbs, flammable parts. So I guess these are all the different types of crafting ingredients. I wonder, though, would these not get picked up on... ...on Other? Because I think Other was picking up, you like, me, uh, Tend to your electronic wounds. parts and stuff. I have no medkit. Perhaps I can prepare something over the bonfire. Find a bonfire and use it to create a healing self. Okay, we had a bit of a lock up there on the scan. Sorry about that. Now to find the bonfires. Back there. Is there anything down in this area? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Let's go. Whoever kept this running, appreciate it. So we can craft at these. Nice. Uh, what do we have? Anti-radiation ointments. We've got... Calming salt. A simple brew characterized by a mild but immediately relaxing effect. <laughs> relaxing. Uh, on those who inhale its pungent aroma and slightly improves psyche. And healing salve. So these are kind of like soups, I guess. Basic mixture of slow-cooked herbs restores a small amount of health. Now, is this something I'm immediately using? No. Each usable item is automatically added to the quick access menu. All right. Uh, you can use 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 to quickly use the newly created medicine. Items can be reassigned to the quick access menu from the inventory. So, four. Okay. Okay, now we look to be going through there, but we did have this other area. I just want to check. Yeah, that's it. I don't know what that is in the top left yet. where I can see them. What's the password? <laughs> it's me! I can't remember? That's not gonna go well. Olivier, it's me for Christ's sake. Igor? Damn it. Nostalgia. It's nostalgia. It was your idea, goddammit. Okay, I'll remember Come that. Come on in. Igor, you're a bit of a handyman, right? Take a look around and see if any of this crap is useful. This is your element, my sweet. <laughs> Create order from this chaos. Press B to start rebuilding my base? What? Base upgrades. This category encompasses items related to your refuge 
functionalities such as building structures, generating electricity, managing sleeping arrangement, air quality, and radiation protection. While in building mode, you can mark previously built structures and dismantle them to recover resources by pressing T. Practice on the rubbish laying around. Okay. So we have different buildables. Oh, I see. Base upgrades, Igor's inventory, companion's comfort. Okay. Oh, so this is just a bunch of junk. Now build a work table. This is the most basic structure that will unlock access to more advanced buildings. Select the base upgrades category and press F to display its content. Okay. First of all, let me let me just clean up absolutely everything because if I don't, it will remain a mess. And I'm just going to get it all. There's like this really cool combination of a bunch of different mechanics. I did not know that we had base building. Okay, so buildables. Wait, is this garbage still? I mean, yeah. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, so we've got... What? Sleeping place, building tools, tools that unlock other building items... Power supplies, air quality, radiation safety. Now, I don't know if there's a, a best location for this stuff, but I'll put it here by the stairs. You've unlocked the ability to build primitive structures. Do not hesitate to review them. Every day, you'll have the opportunity to return to the base and expand it. You're only limited by the amount of resources. When you're ready, uh, use tab to exit the build mode. So I can build a laser cutting machine if I had more electronic parts and flammable parts. Uh, Chernobylite powered tools. Okay. And now I've got access to sleeping place. So we've got sleeping bags. Now I saw over there, it was like our room or something. Is that a thing? It's blocked, okay. What about up here? Oh, hi. Okay, so it automatically turns off build mode there. I see Mikol's old radio is working again. Yes. Anton fixed it before we left. Should be usable. I'm sorry, Olivier, really. But we need to focus on what's ahead of us. Okay. Uh, hold on a second. Sleeping place, power supply for electricity. Let's just do a couple of sleeping spots. I presume we can move this later. Let's set it like so. Okay, so that used all of our mushrooms. Um, a sofa. A comfortable bed. I would need chemicals for that. We also have power supply... I need flammable parts. Okay. Now if I go back and I go over to Igor's inventory, crafting tools, mushrooms again, laboratory, roller bending machine. There's just tons of stuff here. Weaponsmith, armorsmith, containers. Small chest of drawers providing some extra space for unnecessary items. All right. This is crazy. There's lots we can do. Our base's stats are flat, but we'll get a bunch of stuff, and then it's nice that we can kind of just build whatever we want. Oh, wow. Tell me you're not going straight back to the power plant. Because if you want to commit suicide, there are easier ways. We're outnumbered, outgunned, out... everything. 
We need intel, backup, supplies, and most of all, we need a fucking plan. Okay, you are very hostile right now. Doesn't understand love cares nothing about risk. Yeah, and we should definitely hear him out. Okay, Olivier, let's hear your plan. I'm glad you're seeing reason. See this board behind me? We can use it to map out our plan of action. Figure out how to get inside the power plant and find whatever it is you're looking for. Or whomever. Every piece of intel, every bit of info about resources, will document in right here. We'll take our next step when the time is right. For today, let's focus on getting our strength back. If we're going to use this warehouse for our base, we need to find some supplies and get organized. Somewhere to sleep would be a start. Maybe we can find some cots? I built one for you. Olivia may be experienced, but I can't allow him to take over this mission. Yeah, I mean, it's, no, it's fine. Okay. Let's do this right. Great. I'll do everything I can to help you figure out what happened to this... Tatiana? That was her name, right? You got it. One last thing before you go. NAR uses weapons with a biometric lock. We can't use them, so we have to defend ourselves with what we have. Use it as a last resort. I presume you know how to handle firearms? Ish. Then you're all set. I have faith in you, Igor. So they keep hammering home that, like, you know, we should be using other methods. Binoculars to assign missions. Heist board. Go on heist? The plan outlining every step necessary to get inside the power plant and rescue Tatiana. This is the final goal. I need to be fully prepared to have a chance of success. Team members gathered, tools acquired, and investigations conducted. Okay. Uh, I need someone skilled at eavesdropping, someone who could suggest how to get around the NAR. What I need is a spy. Oh, cool. Someone needs to watch our backs, maybe a sniper. Olivier, who's here, Anton. R.I.P. from whoever that was that showed up, the Black Mask or what have you. Uh, I can infiltrate the power plant by pretending to be a prisoner. I just need someone to pretend to be an NAR soldier and maybe a good hacker that would, could have dealt with the security system and electronic devices. Oh, that's neat. Okay. Man, what a view. This panoramic overlook of the zone will help us plan our tasks for the day ahead. Just let me know when you're ready, boss. We can get started. Yeah, I mean, I guess we're ready. Okay, you start each day with planning. Choose which mission you'll do personally and which you will entrust to Olivier. Choose wisely. You can only complete one mission each day. Whoa, okay. You can um, see everything from here. You cannot succeed alone, but there are others who will help you. I'm not sure what to do first. Should I tell Olivier to run some errands, or should I do it myself? Hmm. The percentage by Olivier's name shows his chance for completing the mission successfully. The rate of success will differ from assignment to assignment. The outcome will also depend on his health and morale, marked with icons in the corner of his portrait, his innate skills, and his equipment. This is really cool. Okay. 80%, 53, 80, 80, 80, and 100. Oh, stay at your base. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, what do we have here? So, ammo stash. Any of our troops have built some kind of ammo restock point near the Moscow Eye. It's worth checking out. Food drop. That's actually highlighting the different areas, too. Any of our mistakenly dropped its food supply in the Red Forest area. It should be, shouldn't be hard to seize it. Two days left. Which means... Okay. So, we don't have to do this today. Presumably, this shows up tomorrow. Case with ammo. Daily ammunition drop has landed near the hospital. Munition supply in Kopachi will be marked with a red smoke flare. So, all of these ammo ones are 80%. And this is munitions as well. But this one doing it by himself, probably not so much. So, maybe that's one that I have to do. Choose a mission that you or Olivia will take on today by selecting it and pressing F or left-clicking. Note that each mission has a different purpose and takes place in a different location. Missions are divided into various groups. Food, ammo, and medicines. There's like this uh, kind of uh, 
you know, like with the bio coated weapons, like maybe some rim world influence. And then this is almost like this war of mine, kind of. Anyways, uh, let's go here, I suppose. Yeah, we'll send Olivier on this. And then maybe I'll go. These are all munitions, right? So it's interesting. It's really emphasizing stealth, but then there's all this ammo stuff to deal with. Maybe I'll go here because if he's going to get ammo, uh, maybe we'll get new missions tomorrow, right? So I'll try and do the food drop myself. Press enter when you're ready to start a mission. Remember that difficult missions do not have to be successful. Both you and your companions can be injured, kidnapped, and even killed, but hunger will kill you just as quickly. All right. Let's go. Day one, red forest afternoon. Shit, I can't shoot a dog. I, I just can't. Look, it isn't easy. I get it. But these animals will die anyways. And in the meantime, they're spreading radiation oh, everywhere. Man. It's a mercy. I just... I can't believe this whole fucking disaster. Someone screwed up. Bad. They should have to answer for it. Let the party leaders handle all of that. We've got our own job to do. That's exactly like the Netflix show where they have to go. Oh, that's crazy. Okay. Let's do this again. So they also show up on the compass, which is nice, if not a bit cluttered. But I'd much rather have it than not. Okay, so there's lock picks. Um, now here, we've got traps. Remember that building can be quite noisy and the zone is a dangerous place. When you're ready, use tab to exit the build mode and get back to your mission. Tools for item crafting and weapon upgrades. Environmental modifiers. These machines placed in the right place will affect the entire zone. Make sure to place them in well-hidden abandoned areas as monsters and any our soldiers would try to destroy them every day. Chernobylite neutralizer, space-time distributor. Okay, this will, I'm sure, get explained to us at some point. Uh, crafting, we've got stoves, workshop. You can make ammo there. Uh, you can make gas mask filters and plates here. Uh, allows you to change previously created modifications for any weapon. And then here we can make uh, salves, anti-radiation ointments, and calming salts. Okay, that's good to know. How would I build lockpicks, I wonder? Maybe that's at base. And then there's these traps and stuff, which that seems cool too. Okay, anyway. It seems like the scans do remain... Oh, is that a person? What the frick? Who is this? Vagabond. Another respectable customer. Want to make the dealer your life? You're not afraid of trading here? Ah, I know what I'm doing, my good sir. I've been trading since the fall of the Soviet Union. And besides, no risk, no gain. Sounds like you've traveled a lot. Ah, the Grand Bazaar in Tehran, Jarmak, Europa in Warsaw, Taksim in Istanbul. I've been places, my friend. Oh, the things I've seen. I'll bet you have. I have to ask, how does desolate Pripyat compare to these colorful places? Hey, where there's demand, I provide supply. I'm the invisible hand of the free market. I've got Putin, Trump, and Gates <laughs> on my speed dial. Is that right? Is that right? What about Steve Jobs? <laughs> wow. But, yeah, him too. 
Of Elon? Course. What about Elon? Anyway, Bezos? money makes the world go Jeffrey round. Jeffrey Bezos. Bar bartering is also good. You want to trade? I guess so. Exchange food for gear. Exchange gear for food. Let's just chat here for a second. I'm looking for someone. Perhaps you've heard her name. Tatiana. Tatiana Amelieva. She used to work at the power plant. She went missing 30 years ago. Uh, I'm sorry, my friend. It's been a while since I've seen a woman. I've been too busy. Busy? With what? With creating a new world of opportunities, my friend. I'm like Gordon Gecko, only smarter. <laughs> and like Jack Ma, only more hardworking. I'm going to build my commercial empire on the ashes of Chernobyl in no time. Yeah, I Good believe luck. you. Well spoken. Um... Do you buy goods as well? Sure. Actually, I'm looking for a few things right now. Okay, so... Oh, look at this stuff. Gas mask, prune of armor, tactical armor. I, think I've done I don't know if this is stuff we now. should be carrying in case we run into people like this. Good but... luck building your fortune, Mr. Invisible Hand. Ah, <laughs> thanks. But I'll make my own luck. I like that. Oh. Thank you. A clue. This Kozlov guy seems to be important. Perhaps I should meet with him and ask about Tatiana. Okay, General Kozlov, head of military operations. Regarding Operation Ghost World. You're hereby given full authority to assist Professor Semenov in containing the crisis. Use whatever means necessary, including lethal force. All military assets are at your disposal. Feel free to request an additional transfer of funds to cover all expenditures and the cost of potential collateral damage. All hostiles must be neutralized at any cost. Our main facility must remain operational. Semenov's research on Chernobylite is our top priority. All other considerations are secondary. Now, is that us? Or is that our, like, is that our last name, Semenov? Or is the guy we want to meet Professor Semenov? Maybe. I don't know. Okay, lights off. Oh, I thought maybe some medicine there. I'm just trying to get a sense of, like, what's all out here. Like, and do we have unlimited carry capacity? I don't know how this all works. Can we get on these trains? Yep. More lock picks, okay. Look at, there's just, there's so much stuff. I'm not gonna obviously be able to collect everything, but. Okay, that makes sense. So abandoned vehicles would be a good thing to find. Now, if I were to scan for food rations, I don't presume we're just going to find these kind of laying around. But it's... Oh, who the hell's that? That looked like a... Oh! Where's that coming from? Is there somebody above? They could have heard me running there. So it looks like it... Okay, so I think what's happening is it sends out the scan. And then the green is the thing you scanned for. Just to kind of... Yeah, like here. Oh, no. Chemicals. Huh. I don't know.
Should we see if this guy is coming back? Oh boy. I think I will try to take him down. I'm just concerned about what was causing our issue when we came over here. He also said we can't take their weapons, so... Yeah, you don't want to run into him. Oh, crap. Does that mean somebody sees me? Whoa. That was not... Oh, boy! Okay. <laughs> okay. Great. This is a problem. Oh, look, okay. So we have a little bit of a timer, so we know... How long they're looking for us. There he is. The question is... Oh, he's running right through the bushes. Oh, spooky. Sleep. Okay, so we're not just knocking these guys out now that we got we're knifed up. Like we are, we are slaughtering. Wow. Okay, so we do get ammo from them. That's helpful. Mask filter, chemicals. I wonder how you get inside here. Through the roof, I guess. So, like, I can't open any of these things. I don't think. That would be cool if that worked. Yeah, so, like, maybe there's ways that we can, uh... Maybe there's ways that we can build a ladder or something. I don't think we have a, a like, a ledge-grabbing situation. Huh, we'll keep our eye on that, I guess, but... If we're coming out to these spaces just for the day, then presumably we're not going to be able to find that later. Wondering, that rad sign, is that out of date? Because, oh my god, there's so many. Okay. Maybe we focus on trying to find the food. Looks like it's coming up. Okay, tell you guys what. <laughs> Let's take a break here. This is really cool. Um, I'll try. I don't know how it's, how long these missions are going to be. But maybe after this one, I'll try to structure it where every day or every episode is 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 a day maybe it's two days i don't know how long they are but we'll figure that out as we go so it's like nice and clean um thank you guys so much for watching i hope you're enjoying we're gonna see you in the next one and uh we'll see where this leads us bye for now